What's going on everybody? Crit City J here, ready to bring you episode number 10 of our Pokemon White TMNT Elimination Lock. Last episode we made it here to this huge city. I don't remember the name of the city because I'm really bad with names of the different cities in uh, the Pokemon universe. But we made it here and um, I told you guys I was going to grind it. What I also decided to do is just kind of explore the city a little bit because it's... A little boring, I feel like, if you watch me explore the city. So I did that off screen, and I might kind of continue to do that um, in future episodes, just because it's. I don't know, it's just, I feel like it's kind of mixed for boring content when you sit there and watch me do that. Um, so, yeah. You also might notice on the layout that I did have an evolution while I was grinding. Uh, April O'Neil evolved into a Pikachu, and I think I might leave her as a Pikachu um, from here on out. Just because, like I said, I gave her I gave her the light ball, and I think that you know, kind of cool to use it. She's pretty powerful right now, actually. She put in some pretty big work on the grinding. Um, but I grinded everybody up to level twenty. Um, I looked it up. This guy, uh, the gym leader, has got like level twenty ones and twenty two or something like that, I think. So we are still a little under leveled, but we should be okay. Anyway, I didn't mean to get into this right now, but I was heading over to the gym. And this guy, you know, Sharon popped up. So let's go ahead and read his dialogue before we get into a team recap. <clears throat> hey, Nia, I just challenged the gym. The gym leader, Berg. Berg. He's a seasoned gym leader. He made me work for that gym badge. But for me, bug-type Pokemon aren't much of a challenge. I'm going to keep winning like this. Uh, I'm going to keep winning like this against all of the Universe Region's gym leaders. Then, I'll head for the Pokemon League and outperform the champion. If I do that, everyone will admit that what a strong trainer I am. That will make me feel truly alive. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Maybe we won't take the gym on right now. Ah, ha! Huh. You're the one who fought Team Plasma in Pinwheel Forest. If I remember, your name is... Nia. Come. Come to challenge the gym, I suppose. Ah, oh, sorry, but could you wait a bit? I was informed that Team Plasma has shown up. In fact, come with me. I'm going to the dock at Prime Pier. Okay, I guess we won't do the gym right now, but let's go ahead and do a team recap here real quick. Because um, a few things might be a little bit different. We have Shredder here with Cut, Psycho Cut, Faint Attack, and Sucker Punch. And as I said, everybody is level 20. We got Rasputin, Drain Punch, Cross Shot, Fake Out, Bullet Punch. April O'Neil, the Pikachu now, Fake Out, Thunder Punch, Thunder Wave. And I did teach her Electro Ball over uh, Thunder Shock, I think is what she had. Um, I just feel like it's going to be a pretty good one, especially since, I mean, look at her speed set. 47, I feel like it's pretty good. So, Rock Steady, Crunch, Thunder Fang, Dragon Rush, and Iron Tail. Slash, Giga Drain, Sleep Powder, Sludge, and Leaf Storm. And Leonardo, Water Spout, Muddy Water, Yawn, and Fake Out. All right, so we got to head over to the uh, pier. And for some reason, I don't know why, but the music in here is really quiet right now for me. I will try to fix that when I edit, edit this video. Um, so hopefully it will be okay for you guys. But if it's a little off, it's a little quieter, or maybe even a little bit too loud, like louder than normal, because when I edit it, I apologize. But I don't know what's going on right now with the music and the sound effects. So I don't really know what pier we're supposed to go to because there's a bunch of them here. I'm guessing most likely, mo most likely knowing my luck, it's probably the last one. But we're gonna check all of them just in case. Oh, never mind. Come on, this way. Team Plasma, they took this young lady's Pokemon. Nia, is there anything we can do? My Muna, Team Plasma took it. I heard this lady, lady scream and ran after the thief as fast as I could, but this city is so big and so crowded, I'm afraid I lost them. Iris, you did everything you could. I mean, how do you know? You don't know what she did. But that's so, that's so bad. Taking people's Pokemon is really bad. Because it's really nice when people and Pokemon are together. They, even, they each have something the other doesn't, and they help each other. Iris... Agreed. No fear. We will get that Pokemon back. Right, Nia? Having said that, finding the, a person or a Pokemon here in 
Castelia City, which is where we're at, is Castelia City, will be like finding a needle in a haystack. Or will it? I spy a gym leader. Last time went so well, I thought I'd grab another Pokemon. Rethinking. I need I need to get out of here. Follow that Team Plasma Grunt. Why are we sitting around talking? Neil, let's go. Iris, you stay by that young lady's side. Except we're wasting a ton of time. He's probably already gone by now. I'm going to be Bianca's bodyguard. So, so you go after those bad guys, okay? I'm really bad with voices. Like, really bad with voices. Pretty sure, if I'm right, they went this way. And then... Okay, yeah, there he is. That way! Hmm. There, heading towards the gym. Where could they be? Where on earth could Team Plasma's hideout be? Where could they be keeping all these Pokemon at? Wait, there's a bunch of Team Plasma guys. Who would have thunk it? This is definitely a pit. No kidding. Come on, you're better than that. No one's here. Not a soul. No other Team Plasma members, nor any of the Seven Sages are inside. If you think I'm lying, why don't you have a little battle and find out? Okay. I had thought. Had a thought. I'll take care of this weak-looking runt so you can show off by handling that tough-looking guy over there. Oh, please. Nia, I'll leave that one to you. So, he's taking two-on-one, we're taking one-on-one. -on -one. Alright, so he's got two Pokemon. Starting off with the Sand Isle. Well, we've got... Shredder here, ready to shred up the competition. What does Torment do? I always forget. Okay, that, I can't use the same attack twice. So we'll go Faint Attack. And there goes the Sand Dial. Another one, okay. So close. There we go. This is bad. Bad, 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 bad. Bad for Team Plasma, or Plasbad for short? What? It's in my best interest to go report to the Seven Sages right now. What, you guys are supposed to wait behind? Phew, we got lost. Even with distractions from the X Transceiver, or directions from the X Transceiver, I couldn't figure it out. Team Plasma is inside. The the stolen Pokemon may be in there as well. Okay, I'm going in. Okay, it's time. I'll, go, I'll join the fight. Come on, Bianca, you too. Wait? Yeah, you come too. And I guess if I have to... My word. If it isn't the gym leader Berg, Berg. So, what would what would you say is the guiding principle of Team Plasma anyway? Take what you want from people. I thought it would be amusing to prepare a hideout right in front of a Pokemon gym, but we were detected more quickly than I I imagined. Indeed, no matter. We already have an exceptional base of operations. Is everyone familiar with the legend of the founding of the Unova region? I am. It's the white dragon type Pokemon, right? The truth is this. The white dragon appeared before a hero who sought the true way to knit together a world full of many warring, warring people. This white dragon type Pokemon shared its knowledge and, bared its, and barred its fangs at those who stood against it. 
together the power of this Pokemon and the hero brought unity to the hearts of everyone in the land. And that is how Unova was created. We shall bring back the hero and that Pokemon to Unova once again. If we can win people's hearts and minds, we can easily create the world that I, I mean Team Plasma, desires. Here in Castelia, we have a lot of different kinds of people. Everyone's ways of thinking and lifestyles are very different. Honestly, there's something about what you, you're saying I don't quite understand. Yes? What? What is it? One thing we all have in common is that we all care a lot about Pokemon. Even people meeting for the first time can talk about Pokemon. Talk or battle or trade. Remember your speech at Accumula Town. You were responsible for lending me, leading me to rethinking my relationship with Pokemon. For that, I thank you. At that time, I made a promise. I swore to myself that I would dedicate myself to Pokemon even more strongly. What you guys are doing, aren't you going to strengthen the bond between people and Pokemon even more? <laughs> you are quite hard to figure out. A little more intelligent than I had expected. I am fond of intelligent people, you see. You'll enjoy hearing about this. For, from every corner of the world, I have gathered knowledgeable people uh, for our king's benefit. You, sh you could call them the Seven Sages. Very well. We will submit to your opinion and be on our way. That girl over there, return her Pokemon. It's a Muna. Th th thank you. Mooney, I'm so glad to see you again. Bianca, why are you thanking them? They t they take people's precious Pokemon. It's just, I'm, I'm so happy that my Muna is safe. The friendship between Pokemon and people can be very touching. But in order to liberate Pokemon from foolish people, we will revive the legend of Unova and win the hearts and minds of everyone. Farewell. He left something behind. What? What are you doing? Why are you letting them get away? Gah! What do we do? What do we do if anything's happened to other, the other stolen Pokemon? It's okay. Thank you, Iris. No one was hurt. More than anything, I got my darling Pokemon back again. Okay, if you're happy. What is everyone planning to do now? Oh. It would be sensational to look around Castelia City, but... Don't worry, I'll keep a... keep on being your bodyguard. Iris? Hmm, that's great. Iris is a dazzling Pokemon trainer and maybe not at home in the big city yet. So a little give and take. Hmm, people and Pokemon need to help each other out. Also, thanks for looking for the Pokemon. Here, this is for you. And we got a Yachi Berry! See you. What, wait. Well, then, Nia, I'll be waiting at the gym. All right. So one thing I did, I did get a bunch of um, items when I was exploring around the city. Um, I can show you real quick what I got. Um, I got an experience chair, X actually, Evie Light, um, Amulet Coin. I think that's about it. Everything else I kind of had before. But the experience share was kind of nice. I did use that uh, when I was grinding. But real quick, um, since we are doing a bug, um, a bug gym, I'm going to ask you, what's your favorite bug type Pokemon? Um, that is the question of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I had planned to ask you a lot sooner. Wait, does this guy give us anything? Um, but I also had planned on going into the gym a lot sooner. I didn't realize we had to do all that stuff. He does give me a fresh water. Awesome. Um, so, what is your favorite bug type Pokemon? My favorite is and always has been Butterfree. Um, it's my very first fully evolved Pokemon that I had ever gotten. So, I mean, that's kind of cool, you know? I mean, I'm sure it's a lot of people's first fully evolved Pokemon. But, I don't know. I, th I feel like it's way underrated, personally. Um... I don't know, I just like it, and I'm really hoping that whatever game they come out with next, they're going to give it a Mega Butterfree. 
Like, if I want one Mega, it would be Mega Butterfree. So. But anyway, I am not 100% sure how we're going to take on this gym. I don't really think I have anything that's super effective against Bug-type. Um, I don't think so, because I can't think what all bug, bug are weak to. It's Rock and Fire is all I can think of. I don't have either. It's a lot. Why did that do so much? Probably should do something better than Cut, I guess. Let me look up what bug are weak to. Sorry. It's taking me a little bit. I'm still getting used to my new phone. Let's see. Flying, duh, I knew that. Okay, fire, flying, and rock, and that is it. But I know this bug is part poison, so that should be super effective there. Look at that attack stat, though, guys. 66. That is ridiculous. Alright, let's switch up the team since he's up to 21 now. Put Leonardo in the front. Might have to switch, do some switch training, though, in case we run into any... Like, I think Levani is... Bug grass. And I'm pretty sure... Uh, Berg has a Levani on his team. I feel like that was something I saw. I don't remember what else he had. I think he had a Whirlipede too. So what? Wow. Level 20. So I should probably... What I'm going to do, I think I'm going to fake out and then... Probably switch out. Fake out, then switch out. Didn't do a whole lot, but hey, you know, it's better than nothing. And we're gonna go into Slash. Because he should be weak then to our. What is it, Sludge Bomb or just Sludge? Whatever it is. So I don't have anything specifically for Bug Type, but seeing as a lot of this is dual typing. Um, I can use Super Effect to move against the other type. A Dwebble. That is Rock and Bug. So let's go ahead and do a Leaf Storm. This should be neutral, I think, because I think Bug resists Grass. Stop. Thank you. Oh, he's got Sturdy. Of course he's got Sturdy. Uh-oh. Wait. I thought Fury Cutter was... Isn't that a uh, bug-type move? So shouldn't that have been, like, super effective? I don't know. Maybe not. No, I think I'm thinking of X-Scissor. Never... Well, am I? I don't know. Well, let's go ahead and heal up, though. I need some... healing. Where are my potions? There we go. Do I have a berry? There we go. And healing is one, so he'll be fine. Alright, so we can go on that door now. I think the door we need is this one right here. Pretty sure. This should open up the first one. Yep. And then... Go through 
here. This is kind of a cool gem design. Oh, there's a guy. I probably could have guessed that, to be honest. Alright, Rick, you gotta swaddle, huh? Level 21. Let's go ahead and fake out again. And then we'll switch out. See, again, I just love that fake out move. Comes in handy. It really does. I mean, it's not too effective on Leonardo, because he does have a minus um, attacking nature. But, still pretty nice. Okay, so poison must resist bug. I'm Now I'm curious. Because that wasn't super effective. It does. Poison does resist bug. Interesting. I did not know that. Super effective against dark, grass, and psychic. And I knew those. But it is not very effective against a bunch of things. Fairy, fighting, fire, flying, ghost, poison, and steel. Good to know. And then there we go. Oh no, we gotta go to that door, door now. A lot of doors we gotta go through. I am planning on healing before we get to the gym, like going back to the Pokemon Center. Before, whoops, before we get to the gym later. Just to be safe. I mean, we are, we've already lost my favorite Ninja Turtle. So, probably should play a little bit safe, I guess. Alright, this should be the last uh, trainer as well. Venipede. Again, let's fake out. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to go back to the Pokemon Center. I don't want to waste that time. I'll just go ahead and heal um, using potions. I should be fine. And then we're going to... Whoops. Then we're going to go into Shredder. Yeah. Because we'll be able to do the super effective uh, Psycho Cut. So if our Psycho Cut wouldn't have killed before, it's definitely going to kill now. Protect. Really, dude? Alright. And we got a Swaddle. I'm going to go into Slash. Just because he's got the super effective move. I mean, I definitely think uh, Shredder could have taken out to Sawaddle, but let's play it safe. There we go. And Slash is level 21. And that is all of the buttons. Everybody is full health. <clears throat> Let's put Rock Steady in the front. The only thing we have to worry about is grass type moves with him. And special thing type moves because his special defense I don't think is like very good at all. Yeah, 29. And he is rock ground. So maybe he's not the best Pokemon to put in there. You know what? I'm going to put Rasputin in there. Because poison does resist bug. Just found that out. Wait, didn't it say fighting too? So does he four times resist bug? It does. So he four times resists bugs. Anyway. 
Thanks again for your help. My bug Pokemon are scurrying with excitement about getting to battle you. Let's get straight to it. Here we go, guys. So depending on how long this battle takes, because we're sitting at what? 24 minutes, roughly? Okay, so he's gonna lead with a world of heat. I knew he had one. So let's first of all fake out. See how much that does. Wow, he is bulky. See how much a cross chop does. Nothing at all. So he's going for a poison type attack. Let's go into Shredder. Come on, go for poison tail again, I dare ya. Screech. No, 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 that's bad. Well, actually, that might be good. As long as we outspeed. Kinda worried, though. Okay. We should be good. There, down goes the first one. Okay, Dwebble. Right, I'm gonna get out because we got to Screech. He is Rock Bug. Rock Bug. We want a Leonardo. So I want to, I'm going to fake out to get all my HP back. That way we can water spout. There we go. And this should be super effective, right? Yes. Alright, and then the last is Luvang. Level 23. We need to go into Slash. This set by the stop makes this a lot more difficult. Razor Leaf. We should eat that up pretty nicely. Yeah. And we'll go Sludge. Protect. Come on. Alright. So, Sludge it again. Struggle Bug. That's neutral. Didn't do much. But a lower or special, really a lower or special attack. Got the poison though, so we will be able to kill if we can land in the one more. Even if they go for struggle, struggle bug again and we lower our special attack yet again. Should still be able to kill, especially with the poison. And there we go. Awesome. Ah, oh, I lost. Whatever. Losing to you doesn't bug me because you are amazing strong. Amazingly strong. This is the gem badge. You beat me, so it's yours. And there it is. That is what, our third gem badge? Right, third? Yes. In our case, ready to go. It's the insect badge. It's in insectable. I mean, incredible. If you have three badges, Pokemon up to level 40 will obey you, including traded Pokemon. Because I'm a generous guy, I'll also give you this. Struggle Bug. Struggle Bug also lowers the special attack of the target that was damaged. I'm the best guy to tell you. It's the little things that count. Alright guys, well that is going to be the end of this um, episode, um, so if you guys did enjoy this episode, make sure you leave a like rating down below, am I, I'm lost, okay never mind, here we go. Uh, like I said, if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like rating down below, if you didn't like this episode, you can go ahead and leave a dislike, that is, hold on. 
Hey there! Where are you now? Could you do me a favor? Let's have a Pokemon battle. Iris has trained me and I've become a little stronger. I should be able to protect my, my Pokemon now. Let's meet at the gate to Route 4. Okay, see you later. Okay, so if you liked it, leave a comment, If you or leave a like. If you didn't like it, go ahead and leave a dislike. That is perfectly fine. Would you please just, you know, comment down below and let me know why you didn't like it. That way maybe I can make it better for you guys next time. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a moment of all this exciting action. Go check out my Pokemon Celeste Titan demo Let's Play we got going on the channel as well. It's pretty cool. It's a brand new game that's out if you haven't heard of it, which... If you're watching my video, I'm sure you have, because a lot of people are doing it, but it's a pretty cool game. Make sure you go check that out. And finally, leave me a, leave me a comment down below. Answer the question of the day. What is your favorite bug-type Pokemon? I told you guys mine. Mine is Butterfree, and I'm excited to hear what you guys, is ha what you guys have to say. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.